Hello everyone. Welcome to the Java Tutorials. I am Abdul Wahid. The agenda of the video is data types and casting rules in Java. So, firstly, let's discuss the data types in Java. In any programming language like Java, the data types specify different sizes and values that can be stored in the variable. Mainly, data types are divided into two types. One is primitive data type. Another is non-primitive data type. In Java language, primitive data types are the building blocks of data manipulation. These are the most basic data types available in Java language. And they are divided into four types, which are Boolean, Character, Integer, and Float. The Boolean data type is used to store only two possible values, true and false. This data type is used for simple flags that track true or false conditions. The Boolean data type specifies one bit of information, but its size cannot be defined precisely. For example, Boolean flag is equal to true. The character data type is a single 16-bit Unicode character. The character data type is used to store one character at one time. For example, char letter A is equal to A. The integer data type is a 32-bit signed 2's complement number. Its default value is 0. The integer data type is generally used as a default data type for integral values unless if there is no problem about memory. For example, integer marks is equal to 84. The float data type is used to store floating point numbers. Its value range is unlimited. The float data type should never be used for precise values. Its default value is 0.0. .0. For example, float F1 is equal to 234.5F. Another type is the non-primitive data types. They include classes, interfaces, and arrays. Now, let's head to our second part. That is, casting rules in Java. In Java language, type casting is when, you assign a value, of one primitive data type, to another type. In Java language, there are two types of casting, and they are, widening casting, and narrowing casting. Widening casting, it is done when, converting a smaller type to a larger type size. And, it is done automatically. For example, here we are converting, an integer value, to a float value. And, you see, we do not have to convert explicitly, rather it is done automatically. Narrowing casting, it is done when, converting a larger type, to a smaller size type. And it is done manually. For example, here we are, converting a float value, to an integer value. And here we do the type casting manually. Wow! Great! Finally, you learned it! Thanks for watching! See you in the next video!